Hi, it's Robert Mitchell, and we're here at the 2013 Toronto International Film Festival. We're here at Midnight Madness for the North American premiere of Rigor Mortis. Welcome to Midnight Madness. Thank you very much. It's, uh, it's a pleasure being here. Well, we're honored to have you come over and uh, premiere the film here. Yeah, of course. I mean, like, um, it's my first time in Toronto, and um, it's my first film, and um, thanks for having me here. I was wondering, uh, you've had an accomplished career as a singer and an actor, and now this is your first film as a director. What made you decide to make this film? Well, I mean, like, um, I, at the end of the day, I just realized, like, what I love most are, like, um, being creative. So, I mean, like, being a singer, being an actor, or uh, being a first-time director, or even um, being a scriptwriter, I just believe it's just, like, expressing yourself in... Um, in a different form, mm -hmm. so uh, that that's how it started. I've read that it's uh, somewhat um, influenced by the Mr. Vampire films of the 80s. What did you like about those films? Well, I mean, basically, I grew up with it, but um, at the same time, I believe it's it's not a remake and and it's not a sequel, it's not a prequel. Um, I like to call it kind of like a, a kind of revisit because um, it's just different from um, the original. Mm -hmm. But um, it's uh, it is a horror genre, but at the same time, it, it's it's a heavy drama. It's it's not. It, it was never intended to be like um, uh, uh, a battling movie. It, it's more like a, f a movie about a film about life. I was curious, since it is your first film as a director, did you seek out any uh, advice from uh, anybody you've worked with prior? Not really, because we had like a really tough shoot and uh, we had a very long shoot. So basically, it all acts on. Um, you know your your instinct and all, but um, I think rigor mortis or or even this genre, it, it's not it's not uh, it's not just about me. Uh, it represents a part of my childhood, but at the same time, I think it it represents um, uh, a really golden age of of, of of Hong Kong cinematic history. So um, you know, I'm glad that I was given a chance to make it and. Um, being in Venice Film Festival and just coming here straight and um, you know I, lo I love the city it's great. Well as you uh, we got to talk via an email interview and you were saying that you infuse these characters with a lot of uh, different qualities than you would find in an average genre. Well I mean like uh, uh, it's a blessing that I could um, gather most of the original actors and actresses back but um, you know I, I just love them uh, you know I watched them um, as a kid and now um, I was able to uh, work with them. I just love like all the wrinkles on their faces, you know, it, it tells like a million story and um, you know, it's just magical for me. It's the kind of faces you don't usually see in a film? Oh, yes, of course, I mean like uh, sadly uh, a few core member passed away and um, uh, a lot of them retired and it's really hard to get them all back but at the same time that I, I, th I think they showed uh, a sort of um, respect and um, uh, uh, just just love for for this genre. So so it's 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 a blessing that I could get them all back, uh, most of them back, and um, you know that that uh, that's great. It's very great meeting you and enjoy the premiere. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's very